In this video, we are going to see how we can connect several inverters in parallel from the manufacturer Huawei. In this case, we are going to connect several inverters, single phase models. Sanmil KTL L Uno, and for this, we are going to need this adapter. The VLAN FE is a smart dongle. And that would be useful to connect to the internet, either wirelessly or also through this RJ Corrente Synco connection. Through a cable, we will connect to the internet router. Well, as I say, we would serve to communicate and monitor, or we would also serve to be able to parallelize several inverters in the same parallelize several inverters in the same installation. In this case, if we talk about single phase inverters, we can connect up to three inverters in cascade. Here you can see in more detail the adapter. You can see that it has a USB connection that we will connect to the PV inverter, and on the other hand has this other connection. RJ Corrente Synco to connect to an internet router via cable, although we could also do it wirelessly through the Wi-Fi that is incorporated. Here you can see an example of the electrical connections between two inverters in parallel. In this case, this would be the master inverter to which we have to connect both VLAN phi, as well as the communication with the bathymeter, as well as the battery. In case of having a battery, it would have to be connected to this master inverter. We have connected the input of solar panels, positive, negative. We have left free the second MPPT. We have also left free the input of battery. And in the communications port, we would have to connect in the pin number 3 and pin number 4, the communication with the bathymeter. On the other hand, in the pin number 1 and pin number 2, we have to connect this cable that would communicate with the different inverters that we have in Cascade. On the other hand, we would also have the electrical connection of alternating current to the electrical panel, and in this case, in the inverter. And in this case, in the secondary inverter, we have also connected the input of positive and negative panels in series, and the communication with the master inverter. It would be this cable, as I said, RS-485 apart, we would also have the AC power connections. And as you can see, we have also connected the Wi-Fi antenna. To be able to communicate directly to these inverters and to carry out the startup of the system. Although later, everything that is already monitoring, we are going to do through this VLAN fee. We will proceed to connect the VLAN fee with the inverter off as recommended. And we simply have to insert this USB connector into this port. We have to turn the thread so that it is well secured. And already we would have connected this VLAN FE adapter. We can from now on communicate with this VLAN FE through Wi-Fi. Or through cable by means of good a cable of Ethernet towards our router of Internet. Once we have all the connections, we are going to begin with the configuration for it. We are going to put in operation the inverters. You can do it. From the part of direct current, it is advisable only from the part of direct current, especially if it is the first startup. Until we configure the country's grid code, so you can feed the inverters from the DC side. By turning up the circuit breakers or the DC protections and enabling the disconnecting switch that goes in the inverter itself. Once they are already working only with the energy of the solar panels, you will see that the LEDs light up and we can connect to the solar fusion application. To do this, we have to go to commissioning of the device. You can either scan the QR code on the side of the inverter to connect us, or we can do it manually. Sometimes you tell me that this process fails quite a lot, so we can also do it. Connecting directly to the network generated by the inverter itself. You can see that we have two networks. The numbers of each network correspond to the serial number of the inverter. In this case, the master inverter is the first one. And then, well, we would connect directly to that network. We have to enter the password that comes. The side by default is change me. And, well, we would connect directly to this inverter through the Wi-Fi connection. We possibly get a message that we have no internet connection. We have to ignore it and we will connect directly to the first inverter in this case, the master inverter in this first step. We will ask for the installer password is also common that we are asked to change it. By default, it is usually five zeros, one, two, three, four, five, and a lowercase one. And already we would connect directly as installers of local form to this inverter. This form of connection allows us many more settings. And then from Solar Fusion, Let's go to quick settings to perform the commissioning. Here we have to select the grid code of the corresponding country, in this case for Spain, RD 1699. 
The date and time we can leave it to synchronize automatically and in this next step we have to check that the meter has been detected correctly. And that the energy meter has been detected correctly and the dongle, the oval and FA in this case, if it does not detect the energy meter and the in this case if it does not detect the energy meter you can press and from the list select it so that it tries to detect it here. It is looking for optimizers. We do not have them. And here we could also look if we have any inverter and cascada you can give to search for inverters. And in theory it should already detect the inverter that we have as a slave that is also in operation. You can check how it has detected correctly. We give it to end. And in this screen, well, you can check how we have an inverter and cascada, the dongle that has detected correctly, and the energy meter. We will click on the following, and here, well, already we can connect to internet directly with the Uvalan FA, well, by cable or through internet. In this case, we are going to do it through internet. This would be the network that has access to the internet. If you cannot click here and find the network of your router that has access to the internet, you have to enter the password. In this step, you can already see how the inverter has connected to the internet through the internet router and through the Uvalan FA. In this case, we could put the inverter into operation. In this case, we could already put in operation the part of alternating current so that this inverter already is put in operation since we have already configured it. We would simply have to raise the alternating current protections so that the inverter receives power from the grid. It is going to synchronize and from here it is already going to start injecting and it could already work we are going to click on the next one and well you can already see all the status of the inverter that is all correct and well we would already have in operation the inverter to begin to work. Once we feed it from the AC side we would already have in this step configured the master inverter so now let's put into operation the slave inverter. To do this we have to go to commissioning the device here you can see that we have already running the inverter. With this serial number that corresponds to the master inverter of 5 kilowatts. And now we are going to connect to the secondary inverter. For this, we can also do it manually. Or by scanning the QR code in this case, well, let's select the secondary inverter network that corresponds to the serial number of the secondary inverter is this. Select it and enter the password. The default password changed me the truth that this process is perhaps faster than the QR code that usually fails more in this case because well we connect directly to this Wi-Fi network and well we give to connect. We have to enter the installer password. We are going to go quick settings to start the inverter. We have to do the same as with the other inverter. Select the network code in this case our 1699 for Spain date. Now all synchronized. Let's continue. On this next screen, the Uvalan FE, and it should also detect the master inverter if we click here on search. Inverters by connection RS485, you can see how it has found the master inverter, so we click on finish. And we're going to click on next in this step, you can see that, well, it tells us that already. His connected internet, since Bueno has successfully found the Uvalan FE in the master inverter, so we simply have to enable this option, click on next. Since this inverter already has access, and well here it would indicate that we do not have power grid yet so well. Let's click on finish and we will activate the on finish and we are going to activate the thermal magnet of alternating current so that this inverter will also have power supply from the grid to be able to start injecting. It is important to point out that all the devices of the installation have to be properly updated. Both the inverters and the Uvalan FE device must be updated so as not to have any communication problems. For this we can also connect locally directly to the Wi-Fi adapter we have to enter with the password. And well you can see how we get to this screen where we can update the device in this case. Well I have it updated. If not we could give it here update and it would update the firmware of the device Uvalan FE. The last step that remains for us to do would be to create a plant to which we are going to associate these two inverters to have in the same plant. The photovoltaic inverters and from there to be able to monitor for it we have to go again again to solar fusion. This time we have to be well connected. And to internet to be able to make this configuration and well we are going to go to plant management and from here as I said we are going to create a new plant which is going to be associated with these inverters. 
We have to enter all these data that we are asked and well then validate to create this account. In this case, well, we have to scan the code of the Uval and Fay adapter to associate this adapter to our photovoltaic plant there. You can see how we have associated the core code that has the Uval and Fay, and we will give it to send. You can see how the plant has been created correctly after a few minutes. The Uval and Fay is going to send the monitoring data to the solar fusion platform. And as I say, after a few minutes, and we could start to see the data of the installation here, you can see that good, because in this photovoltaic plant have two inverters, and is already giving us the total production of the two inverters, which would be about 681 watts, of which we are consuming 188. And we are injecting into the grid 490. As you can see, it is giving us the information from both inverters. And we could see in detail, we could even see the management of the devices to check that the two inverters have been correctly associated. And the dongle Uval and Fay here, you can see how the dongle is correctly associated. The slave inverter is associated with the master inverter and the master inverter, which has a device connected to it, which would be the dongle. Well, it has connected a device that would be the energy meter, so it is all correctly implemented in this platform. Solar fusion through this plant that we have created both the two inverters and the energy meter as well as the Uval and Fay.